tiny rods and giant lures. Some people call them a match made in heaven. Fletcher, literally no one's ever said that before. Hunter, are you serious right now? I'm trying to fill my intro. <clears throat> like I said, a harmonious match made in heaven. Two tools perfectly crafted to complement each other with undeniable symmetry and balance. Dude, now you're literally lying through your teeth. Hunter, if I wanted your opinion, I'd ask for it. Now get back to editing. <clears throat> now where was I? Oh, that's right, undeniable symmetry and balance. When you pair up these two things, you expect nothing but the finest fishing experience money can buy. So today, that's what I plan to test. Five rods, five lures, and five rounds of chaos. Every 30 minutes, Kick and Their Bass TV and I are going to spin a wheel to pick one tiny rod and draw one giant lure randomly from a bucket to fish with. The goal is to catch the biggest fish you can in each round in whatever way you can before the time runs out. And whoever manages to defy the odds and catch the biggest combined weight after all five rounds wins the tournament. It won't be easy, but it sure will be interesting. So let's spin the wheel to see who gets what and start fishing. All right, Noah, it is time to do your worst. Feeling lucky, Fletch. You ready? The old dangler. Mm-hmm. Oh, What'd you get? The half spinning rod, baby. Half spinning rod. Yes, sir. Heavy backbone. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> That's a broomstick, <laughs> brother. <laughs> that thing is yeah. a meat stick. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a spin. Let's see what I get. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> God about ripped the net rig out. It looks like we got, we the, got Barbie. the Barbie. <laughs> okay. There Barbie go, it girl. is. So that is gonna be my rod. Now we gotta pick our baits. I'm probably gonna want like a heftier boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. A heftier boy. Because I got the meat stick, yeah, bro. Yeah, you stick your hand in, first thing you touch, you gotta grab. I gotta be careful, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that probably is really long. Oh, this <laughs> is a large one. That okay. is the eight inch glide right there. Dude, that is a mega, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm actually pumped about it. This is not a bad bait for that rod, man. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. Let's see what I get out of the mystery bucket. First thing, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Oh boy, big giant saltwater jerkbait. Jerk well, you gotta represent with the rod, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a quarter of my rod length. Well, since we got our baits picked out, Noah, the first 30 minute timer starts, and once that is up, we'll meet back up to see what we get for round two. Now that we're tied up, Noah, and we have our combos ready to go, 30 minutes starts now. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. I'm gonna start in this corner. I got 30 minutes. I, I can ride to the other side if I need to. We're gonna take a little ride here, guys. We're gonna go straight across the lake here to this point over on this other cove. I definitely think it's worth taking a few of our minutes to make a quick journey to a more prime spot to fish. All right, guys, this is uh, probably the most interesting thing I've ever used in my career. I've never used the rod where we just broke the other piece off. That is definitely a first. And I don't think I've ever thrown one of these eight inch S waivers. I usually throw the six. All right, let's get a little cast test going on here. <laughs> Golly, dude. This is definitely interesting. I want to go ahead and give this thing a quick test cast here. We're stopping this offshore structure on the way to the spot that I want to go to. But <laughs> let's see what we can get going with this. We were able to cast it all right, we're reeling it in. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to work it like a jerk bait, but it's getting down there. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we can't get too much distance. I think I could like definitely get it a little further, but I don't know, we need to be careful. Oh, this is a massive freaking glide. I have a feeling guys that we can catch an absolute toad. We're set up pretty good here. We got a stiff backbone for this bait and kind of get some decent distance on it. And uh, let's just pray that these fish are up shallow here. So I might be able to call out a couple big mamas. Oh golly, we're in the trees. We're in the tree. That's not, it's not where we need to be guys. Yep, I figured we'd uh, come across this problem sooner rather or later. Nothing in this cove that we've seen. We're gonna try one or two more casts here at the point. There's a couple little crevices. If we can get them in there, we could get a potential bite. Just hopefully we can get this out without an issue. Come out of there, stay out, stay out. Get out of there. I'm just gonna let the rod dangle like that. Oh yeah, like look at that. See like cast like that, call out a big fish. No way dude, we're on, we're on, we're on. Oh my gosh, it is knotted up. Get out. Okay, we're good, we're good. All is good. Everybody stay calm. Oh my gosh, we're on, it's a nice one. Oh, there's no way dude, there's no way. I can't, I can't. 
Oh my gosh, stay pinned, baby. She's hooked pretty good. <laughs> She's hooked. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that. <laughs> look at that, boys. It's a freaking fatty. Just need to try to dial in with that cast. Like the unfortunate thing is we only have 30 minutes of pop for these setups, so. You know, it's probably gonna take me at least half that time per bait to just kind of get a feel for the setup so I can make the cast I need to make without constantly being in the trees or tangled like this. Oh my gosh. Please hit three pounds. I don't think she is. I think she's gonna be like a high two number, maybe a mid to high two. If I could guess two pounds, 10 ounces. That's my guess. Oh my gosh, she's a little bigger. Two pounds, 13 ounces. She's a little over two and three quarters. Beautiful fish. And uh, that is fish number one, boys. Let's freaking go. Get a quick time check on this first round. Looks like we got 13 minutes left. 13 minutes and some change. Haven't made a dent yet. I don't know if Noah has caught one or not. Let me check our shared notes tab really quick to see if he's on the board. Oh no, no has caught one. Okay, okay, we gotta, we gotta get something here. We gotta make something happen on this. There's gotta be another giant on this bank. We got so much wind getting pushed up on here too. But these fish have pushed up so quick. We had a cold front blow in last night, but these fish seem to still be up shallow. Come on now, big fish, I feel you. Some of these casts just be like, oh my gosh, I think I have two. I think I have two. Oh no, oh no. Dag nabbit, you gotta be joshing my tots. The barbie rod is a struggle. I, I literally think I have two fish. No, I just got one nice one. Oh my gosh, he, he slammed that. Oh, dude, that's bigger than the last. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go, son. Oh my goodness. Let's get her on the scale real quick. She's very close. She might be an ounce or two heavier. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, we hit the three number. Three pounds, two ounces, baby. That is a cold. We went from 313, or we went from 213 to three pounds, two ounces. That is a beaut right there. Let's go, son. Another cast, same story. In the trees. Come out, please. Please. Literally, okay. No. Everything is working against me. This rod, this bait, this wind, the clock. What do I gotta do to get some points on the board here? Might be able to get one more bite down this bank and our timer is done, guys. And there goes that timer. It looks like we zeroed on our first setup here. That is going to hurt, I'm not gonna lie. I hate to see Noah get on the board and me have to start this challenge out on a bad note and come back from behind. But we're not gonna let it keep us out of the race. The good news is that every single setup we're gonna have today is gonna be tough to catch fish on. So Noah could definitely zero in a future round. Well, Noah, how did it go, man? Went pretty good, bro. I'm not, good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I saw that you were on the scoreboard. Yeah, we got a couple, man. <laughs> we got a couple. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and spin first here, Noah, and see what I get for round two. Oh. And there goes our worm. There goes our spinner. I guess just wherever this arrow's pointing then. And we're at... Half spinning rods. Half spinning rods. Is that what you just fished yeah. with? Yeah, well, here you okay. go. Okay. All right, man, let's see. Old whipper snapper. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yep. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Okay. okay. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my bait for round number two. And yes. I got a, I got actually a decent bait here, guys. This is one of like the more medium sized swim baits. You got a pretty good go there, so boy. So I'm feeling pretty good. You know what also has me feeling good? Z-Biotics. With Z-Biotics, you no longer have to decide between a great night and a great day when you want to have a few drinks. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic Drink is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to help you feel better the morning after drinking. Here's Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break these byproducts down. Just remember to make Z 
Z-Biotics your first drink of the night, drink responsibly, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. Every time I have Z-Biotics before drinking, it makes such a difference the next day. Even after drinks the night before, I know I'll be able to get up and go fish without skipping a beat. If you're tired of stealing happiness away from the next day every time you drink, make sure you go to zbiotics.com slash Fletcher or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use code Fletcher at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash Fletcher and use code Fletcher at checkout for 15% off. Thank you to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode. Get a little spin. Hold on, easy now. I know you're antsy to get the 12 inch bait for that, for that combo. I'm saving that for Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Oh my god. Chatta chatta bait. Chatta chatta bait. Oh so. my gosh, that's a mega. That's like a one ounce chatter bait, bro. It's, well, let's get tied up for round two here, guys, and we'll get those timers started. So here we are, have our new setups rigged and ready to go. Round two starts in three, two, one, go. All right, boy. Chatta chatta bait. <laughs> Okay, first cast, much better. I'm, I'm liking what we're working with a lot more here. This bait seems a little bit more favorable to what we've been fishing with. See what we got. Oh my gosh. I'm just more concerned about my line. All right, boys, the accuracy of this thing, pretty juice. The real rate and the noise level, definitely not it. Um, I'm more concerned about the hook set and the line just not giving out. This is a hefty bait. I mean, this is probably a one ounce chatterbait. Biggest hook I've ever seen. Money. That was cash. Did we actually throw some? Oh, oh, right away. Yes, sir. We're getting on the board right out the, no, I snapped off. No way, no way. Oh no. That is so unfortunate. We have backup baits for this, but that is such a bummer. Me and Noah have been fishing with that swim bait for like five years now. It's my longest lasting lure. That is unfortunate. Guys, I apologize in advance. This is a squeaky boy. Definitely needs a little bit of WD-40 or something on this puppy. And another thing with this bait, the dang skirt keeps falling down. It's like it doesn't really attach anymore. I don't know if this thing's been like sitting out in the sun or something. Something we're just gonna have to adjust throughout the day. I will say the accuracy of this setup though, it's prime. No! Oh. oh my gosh, dude. So here's what I have for a backup lure here, folks. This is gonna have to work. We have a handful of these just in case we snap off some of our baits because we don't have duplicates of everything. Just gonna have to make this work. But let's tie on this guy and see if we can't get back on the board and make something happen. I'm concerned with this line knotted up in there because if a fish grabs it and starts running, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I need a couple bites to really test out my, my strategy. It's like I wanna go tighter on the drag, but then I go so tight. Like, I, I don't know, it's really tough. Tough decision to make. <sighs> Pretty bummed out about losing that bait, guys. That is just very unfortunate mishap. Out of all the baits in the bucket, that was the one I was really hoping I'd get my hands on and we totally wasted that opportunity. Oh, that was a fish, bro. That was a fish right there. See, did you guys hear my line pop? Dude, that's concerning. If we had this on the rod that we just had, we'd be able to pretty much hook that fish pretty good. But this is not easy. This is not gonna be an easy task, but guess what? I'm up for it, and we're gonna figure out a way to get it done, guys. I need to check and see if Noah's on the board. Good news, do not see no on the leaderboard right now for this round. I mean, make something happen though. We gotta, we gotta get some points. Right there, man, come on now. Oh, I got cranked, dude. They want nothing to do with this lure. They hate it with every ounce of their being, just as much as I do. Why does this bait suck so much? Literally the worst swim bait I've ever used in my life. Right there, the accuracy is on pack. Oh, I don't know what else I can do to hook these fish, but I had one, dude. 
And there it goes, guys. Nothing in round two with the old swimmer here. That is real unfortunate. There we go, that's all she wrote. It's working this cast real good. Well, let's go meet up with Fletcher and get our next bait. It has been a struggle, my friend. It has been a struggle. I'm on the struggle bus with you, brother. Go ahead and give this thing a spin. All right, boys. All right, come on now. Doc Demon, Doc I will Demons. take it, brother. Here you go, son. That is for you. Now it's time to see what I get here, guys. Let's give this thing a rip. And I got the half push button, but it's time to pick the baits. I'll let you go first. Oh, I hope there's still some appetizing baits left. I want to see there are, right? <laughs> That's his oh, ooh. That's his appetizing brother. I don't hey. know about on the dock demon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's an appetizing bait, man. Well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna give this thing a swirl and a random pick. And in we go. And now we come. Hey, boy. Woo, let's Dude. go. <laughs> we got the big worms. I'm gonna bust one of these bad boys out and toss her on my push button micro stick here. Let's rig her up and see what we can get going. Everything is now ready to go. And the moment of truth is here. 30 minutes, Noah, you know the drill. 30 minutes, boy. Three, two, one, go. All right, boys, I know we can get one on the swim bait. We got it on the dog demon. You know, this rod still has a lot of tip. I, I would say it's not as fragile as the Barbie rod or the Paw Patrol, but you know, we really need to capitalize here. We have a good bait. We got a fairly decent setup. We just need a good fish. Okay, gotta make something happen here, guys. Round three, if we zero here, we are looking real bad. I'm not gonna lie. The first two rounds got the best of us, but I'm feeling like this is where we start our comeback. Gotta make it happen. I got ice in my veins. It sucks that we zeroed the last one, but Fletcher actually zeroed two, which is giving us all the leverage in the world right now. I have a feeling he's gonna catch a pretty big one on that worm. That's gonna compete with our first round. So pretty much keep our lead here. We need to get a good fish. I'm seeing an area right here that's looking promising, guys. Oh God, I got one. Is he on? Is he on? Oh, he's on, he's on. Hold on, hold on. We're, our line is all tangled up. We're gonna have to hang our fish here, guys. Hold up, hold up. Like I said, we're making do with what we got. Our, our rod completely just messed up on us. Our line is all wrapped up in our gear casing and we gotta get a fish in. Come here, come here. Yes, we're on the board, folks. Finally, after all, everything that we went through to get a fish, this is how we had to catch him. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. He ate it, he ate it and I got him. I got him boys. I, he came off. Get this thing turned on. I don't think she's gonna go quite three, but there's a chance. I'm thinking like high two. Put that onto her lip. Ooh, surprised me. Three pounds, four ounces. Take a look at that. Let's go ahead and get her off, put her back in, put something down on the scoreboard, and that's how it's done, folks. Oh, sorry. I just was not expecting this many heartbreaks today, guys. That sucks. Man, was that a good eat. I actually watched him dive over this bait. I was reeling it pretty fast over that tree, trying to just get a good reaction bite, and I just saw him dive over the swim bait, and that was every bit of a four pounder. That is gonna hurt us there, guys. I had him for a good solid second, just did not have enough power to really drive that hook, and man, uh, that might hurt us, guys. We got 13 minutes left. I'm glad we are not going to get skunked on this round. Let's go ahead and update our bait here. For bait number three, three pounds, four ounces, and I think that puts us in the lead. Come on, I need one bite, guys. We've had that one bite, that is it. I just need something else here. Surprisingly, I haven't had any other followers. I, I don't know if it's the placement of my bait where I'm fishing, or if it could just be the tail kind of turning the fish off a little bit. Ready for that clock to tick down to zero, and have nothing on the board, and then we're going into the final two rounds. Pretty even Steven, if you ask me. Well, let's fish our hearts out for these last couple minutes here. Hopefully we can get a bite, dude. I feel like we can get a bite right here in this corner. He didn't get a bite right here. I'm gonna tell you, this spot looks too good. I just feel like there might be a big and that'll eat this swim bait. Just gonna try one or two more of these little holes here, see if we can't get an upgrade in the final seconds of this round, please. Oh no, there goes the timer. 
No way we're getting hung up. No way we're getting hung up. Come on. Come on. Oh, last cast, man. We're gonna work this in. That's pretty much all she wrote. All right, man. Round four. Give her a whirl. Well, I only have two options. It's between Barbie and the one you just used. Yeah, it is not fun. <laughs> it's probably my it's least It's gotta favorite. be half push button. You got the half push yeah. button? Here you go. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'm ending the challenge on the Barbie. I have Paw Patrol and Doc Demon. I think those are the only two I haven't used. So let's see which one I get. And the winner is... The Paw Patrol. All Paw right. Patrola. Give me the, the little Paw Paw. So here you go, Noah. Oh, Round four. What are you going to get for your bait? They're all flundered. I grabbed something. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Hey, you got a decent little swim bait that there. Is, that is not a bad deal at all. I cannot complain with that. Well, I suppose that leaves me to pick something out now. <laughs> My round four bait is going to be... Ooh, <laughs> not bad. Well, good, sir. I'm all rigged and ready to go. Looks yes, like sir. you are too. Let's get these timers out and let's get 30 minutes on the clock starting now. Let's get it, boy. Get it, I'm son. blasting off. All right, guys, we are going polar opposite. Okay, we got it. We got to make a move. To be completely honest here, guys, out of all the rods and all the bait combinations that I possibly could have had in that bucket, this is probably the most ideal one. I really like this rod the most out of everything that we have. And this is probably my favorite bait outside of the one I've snapped off. So I am pretty excited to give this thing a shot. So our thing is we need to catch a bigger fish than him this round and just see where the, the fifth round lets us go, man. But this round is huge for us. We have to catch a big fish, 100%. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Things were looking really rough for us in the first half, but going into the last two rounds of this challenge, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel really good about this round and my opportunity to get a bait and my opportunity to get a bite or two. Just gotta make the most out of this bait and this setup. All right, guys, I'm gonna try offshore for just a moment. We gotta make fast, like, decisions here. We don't wanna run out of time. My last round, I was kinda moving in the moment. I didn't really pick out the right areas. I'm gonna target a fish out here for just a moment. I know we haven't done it all day, but we might be able to get a quick bite. Oh, holy mackerel. Hello. I can't tell if these fish just turned off completely. If we're not thrown in the right zone, I can't tell really what's going on right now. If they just don't want this bait, but we're making some good money cast. He's either got me buried or he came off. I think I'm stuck on the tree now. No! That fish crushed it, y'all. He came flying out of that. How did he not get hooked? And how did I end up getting hooked up on this branch? I definitely got hit. I saw the dang fish. Guys, I cannot believe we haven't had one eat this. It's starting to concern me. We haven't even had a follower. We haven't had a bite. We haven't had nothing. I mean, this one may look so good. And in my opinion, way easier to get a bite on than that glide we used at the beginning. Quick notes check. And it looks like Noah has not updated the leaderboards. So we're still in the lead by two ounces. Missing that fish is really hurting us right now. Even though we're in the lead, if we do not catch a fish on this and no one manages to get one, that could have been the moment that made all the difference for me in this challenge. All right, fish, please bite. Oh gosh, there she is. And oh, yes, I still got her, I still got her. Oh my gosh, it's a nice one. Oh my gosh, come on. Yes, let's go, baby. Come on now. That's a good three pounder, guys. It's gonna put us in the lead right there. What is going on? What is the scale doing? What? What is up with this? I might have to go over to Fletcher, guys. Oh no. Oh no, that was terrible. That completely got away from me. It's probably my worst cast all day. What did I just do? Hey, Fletcher, I need your scale real quick. Oh, do you? Is yours broken? It's like it's working, then not working, then working. Now it's gonna work right when I pulled up, watch. It just worked right when I pulled up. What in the world now it just killed my time? Three pounds, three ounces, baby. I think you just came over here to gloat. <laughs> There we go, boys. We got a three pound, three ounce. That's even bigger than our first one. That gives us a three pound lead over Fletch. That's money. But I'll tell you guys, this challenge is not done yet. I'm actually gonna get back on that spot. See if we can upgrade here. 
feel a little bit better about my performance. No is struggling just as bad as I am. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. Hold on, stay on, stay on. Oh, golly. Oh, shivery timbers. Come on, be patient. Be patient, Fletcher. Take your time with this beautiful green gal. Oh, so carefully bring her on up to the boat. That is a quality fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that. That's a large jaw if I've ever seen one. Grab me some pliers and let's flop this puppy on the scale. It looks like Fletcher just caught a fish, which is insane. There is no way. I don't know how much it weighs. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a decent one. I heard him say good news. He's not going to zero, so it might not have been a big one. We might still have him by the lead, which is killer. I'm just hoping this fish puts us in the lead again. I don't know if it will or not. I think Noah said his was like a three pounder. This one doesn't look like she's quite there. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Not bad. Honestly, better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a mid two, but I will take almost a three pounder every day of the week. Appreciate the bite. Whoa. All right, boys, we got a little less than two minutes left. Let's try to grind out an even bigger fish. I haven't even checked the scoreboard to see what Fletcher has. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot though. I mean, that one was bigger than our first and he barely got our first one. Three pound, three ounce, we cannot complain with that. We don't have much time left, but my hopes are high that we could get another bite back in this cove. There she blows, boys. That is all she wrote for the first round, or the fourth round. Now we go on to the elimination. Here we go. And there goes the timer. And in perfect fashion, we ended in the trees. The same place we started. Guess we can just throw that down and let's go meet up with Noah. Well, here we are, Noah, in the final round. We are very close in weight. You got three pounds and three ounces and a three pound and four ounce fish. Yep. And then I got a three, four and a two thirteen. Oh, baby. So you have the lead, oh, but not by much. It looks like we both only have one rod left. You have the Barbie rod. Here you go. All right. And I had the Doc Demon, so you can pass me that bad boy over there. And there's only two baits left. One is much better than the other. All right, brother. Here goes nothing, guys. We're going straight in, straight out. Oh, come <laughs> on, bro. Let's go. We got the lipless. That only leaves Noah the big with boy. this big boy. If you want me to be honest with you, I've had more luck today with big boy swim baits. Okay. Well, let's get these tied up and see what happens. Well, it's the moment of truth, guys. Everything is rigged and ready to go for the final round. Y'all know the deal. 30 minutes starts now. Let me just see you try to take a catch real quick. Watch it just happen. Oh my gosh. Dude, just imagine though. You're gonna know when I get a fish on this dang thing. Well guys, we're off on an adventure now. We got our lipless tied up and it's time to get to work with this. I do want to go try some new areas. So let's zip up this way and see what we can get. All right, boys, I'm not gonna lie. We, we got the short end of the stick on this end round. We are in the lead, but I will say that bait that he has, I just, I don't know. I definitely feel like it's, he can easily catch a fish on it. This bait was actually like $30. I bought this like four years ago, just trying to find some absurd lures for some fun videos. And it catches fish, believe it or not. <laughs> it is giant, but the fish do bite it. No, on the other hand, I don't know if I've ever caught a fish with that bait, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Let's give it our all here in the last 30 minutes, see where it takes us. Let's just hope Flusher zeroes, man. I think there's a big chance he can zero. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely more of a chance that I would zero, but at least we're in the lead. Yeah, but that is not an easy bait to catch a bass. Do we have one? Oh, we do have one. No freaking way. First cast on the deep structure. The move was worth it. Come on, just get her in the boat. Just get her in the boat. Just get her in the boat. Yes, yes. Oh, she's barely hooked. She's barely hooked. She's barely hooked. Do not flop. Do not flop. Let's go. Oh, let's go, boys. That is what I'm talking about. Yes. There we go. Does that count, guys? That's a freaking lonk. That is at least a three and a half pounder. What if I just weighed my bait? Did that count? I mean, we at least got a pound and a half of this bait. Not a monster by any means, but it is enough to secure the lead. Let's throw her on the scale and see what she weighs. The damage is two pounds, three ounces. Let's go. Our best bet might be trolling. We can't get a far enough cast. Even if a big fish was wanting to eat this, I don't see him eating it instantly. I could see him kind of stocking it, following it and eating it. 
with how close we got to cast this to the boat, I just really don't see a fish being able to eat it that fast. Y'all ready to eat this thing? Three, two, one, yeet. And did it just snap? Hopefully that did not just snap. Now we just troll. Sit back, relax, drink some coffee. I wish I had coffee, it's pretty chilly out, not gonna lie. And just stroll, man, stroll and troll. I got one, boy. Dude, he caught a fish, there's no freaking way. <laughs> How's uh, trolling uh, old big boy over there? Yeah, probably not gonna work, but we'll try. Make the most of the best times and find a way to see it through to the very end to secure that victory. There she blows. I'm just glad the monkey's off of my back to having to catch one this round. I'm feeling good, loving life. I don't think Noah's caught anything and it's it feels pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, boys, we have trolled all over this dang lake. We're gonna reel this puppy in and I wanna try to throw it at this dock a few times. There's always hope. There's always a possibility. Just realized I totally forgot to record my fish. It was two pounds something, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, we're just gonna put two pounds question mark ounces for now. <laughs> there is not one fish even looking at this bait. They're swimming away. They're intimidated. They're intimidated by the big boy. Noah, I feel bad that you got the short end of the stick in this last round. So I'm gonna be very, very generous. And I'm gonna let you use this setup for the last two and a half minutes. I'll try it, man. Two minutes. Give it a shot. Make the most of it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Here goes nothing, guys. We got two minutes to catch the biggest fish I've ever caught. We're throwing the 10 inch swim bait. Oh, yep, that's an experience. All right, guys, well, we get two minutes with Fletcher's lure. I don't know if we can make something happen in two minutes. We're going to at least try, okay? We're going to do it, at least try. If I had time to run to a spot and then have two minutes, because I have I have a spot in mind. I kind of want to go out on this point, though. We're going to go out on this point, make like one or two casts, and that would be all she wrote. It's coming down to our final cast or two. That timer is going to go off any second. Oh, and one more cast for all the marbles. Really just stick it to Noah and get one on this giant bait. Oh, no, just snapped. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, boys, that is all she wrote. Listen, we win some, we lose some, but we gave it our all, and that's all that matters. And there goes the timer. Holy smokes, guys. Um, what a way to end it. Snapped it right off and came home with a victory.